guys happy friday i hope you guys are having a wonderful friday and that you're ready for the weekend i know i am we are going to go visit my son this weekend at college so he's all settled in and i think i've used enough tissues this week so that i should be okay now this was a really rough rough week for me honestly this was it was hard for me to leave him behind i know that he's doing something that's going to be spectacular in life but that doesn't make it any easier i know us as parents any one of you all that watched my videos that you're a parent and you've had to send your child off to college it's very hard and i honestly knew it was going to be hard but i think it was just a lot harder than i expected so anyway i'm i'm getting through and i'm just giving my youngest son a little extra loving so that now i can <laughs> hopefully feel a little bit better about where he's at and everything i know he's gonna do great things but anyway so i don't want to blabber on too much about this if you guys would like for me to do like a chatty video one day possibly i could definitely do that because i am a very talkative person i can talk to, probably until your ear falls off because i love talking so if you guys ever want to do like a q a type of video let me know because i would be definitely up to doing that so any question i'm open to every question so just let me know if you guys are interested in something like that because i would definitely do it and we'll see if that's something that you guys are interested in just start leaving me some comments below letting me know hey yeah i'd like to do a q a and then i'll just do a video letting you know hey this is where you're going to post all the questions so let's let's think about that guys if you guys were interested in that and if not then that's okay too so let's get back into our top five friday because these are supposed to be quick and i think i'm making it a little bit longer than it needs to be so the first thing i'm going to talk about let's talk about these skincare items first so the first item is this o'keefe's for <laughs> healthy feet you guys are probably like what she's talking about her feet on youtube yes ma'am or sir i love this stuff because i have super super dry feet so what i like to do is use a sugar scrub or any kind of scrub in the bath in the bathtub on the shower or whatever you want to call it and scrub the bottoms of my feet with that and then after i get out i use this product this product has been a lifesaver this summer because my feet are so dry and it's almost to the point where it's like they're so dry that I don't want to wear flip-flops because I'm afraid people are going to think, oh my gosh, what is wrong with her feet? But this has done a really good job with helping to kind of relieve those dry cracked feet. And when you put it on, like if your feet feel so soft and supple, I really do enjoy this stuff. I think it works great for your feet. If you've never tried it before, I do recommend it. You can pick it up pretty much anywhere. It is very inexpensive and it works really, really well. So that is the first item that skincare. So the next item is a group of three. So I'm going to use this as a group of three, even though I know we're only supposed to be talking about five. This is one item, technically. So the item items I'm talking about are the Dickinson's Enhanced Witch Hazels. So I have, there's three different kinds here. So I have the Pore Perfecting, the Deep Cleansing. This is an astringent. This, is, this one is not for like a toner, but this is an astringent. And then also I have the Hydrating Toner. So all three of these are great. The only thing that I would say is the astringent is pretty strong. So if you can't tolerate anything super strong on your face, you might not like the astringent. So let's put that one to the side because it's, I still enjoy it, but some of you all may not. So let's talk about these two right here. This one here is the pore perfecting, which I've used the most of. And this one is the hydrating. This one is my new best friend because it's hydrating. I know this one cleans your pores a little bit better, but this one does a great job of hydrating. So I think both of these products are amazing. You can pick them up at your local drugstore, Walmart, whatever. And they're under, I think they're about $6 a piece, which is a great deal for them. I really do enjoy them. I feel like they do a great job of toning my face after I've cleansed it and before I put on my moisturizers and everything. This is perfect. I really do love these. They're drugstore prices and they work. That's the main thing. If they work, I don't care what, where they come from as long as they work. So, and these come from the drugstore and they work. So now we're moving on to the very last skincare item and it is the Derma E Hydrating Mist with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm pretty sure you can pick up Derma E products at Ulta because Ulta carries Derma E. I love this stuff. This one is for dry and normal skin. So evidently they have all skin types one and then they have an oily skin types one. What you do with this is you spray it on your face whenever you want to if you want to hydrate your face and me with my dry skin it really is helpful because for me I need something that's going to constantly hydrate my skin and this since it does have hyaluronic acid in it it's going to help to kind of I don't know cleanse your face not really cleanse hyaluronic acid is something that's kind of take off the layers so I really don't do it when I have makeup on I don't use this with makeup but I will put spray it on like if I'm out and about during the day cleaning my house or doing whatever and I don't have makeup on I would love to use this stuff because it feels so good and hydrating this is something great if you are going to go out and about 
and just keeping your purse and you don't you're not wearing makeup though because I don't think it would work good over top of makeup let's see if it says you should wear it over top I wouldn't think so oh no you can why did I not know that that's what happens see instructions are to be read for a reason so it says you can spray it over your makeup to set it into place why did I not know that as many times as I've tried this I had no idea that you can put it on over top of makeup so now it's become an even better best friend for me. So let's try this on while I have you guys here. Oh my gosh, the scent of it is, it's like almost like a baby scent. It's got a very, very pleasant scent to it. I think it feels really, really good on my skin. I recommend this, highly, highly recommend this. It says it's supposed to refresh and rehydrate. It's supposed to promote younger looking skin. I don't know if it pr promotes younger looking skin but I do enjoy it. So if you guys have never tried it, I would definitely check it out at your local Ulta. The next item is the Too Faced Sweethearts Blush and Perfect Flush Blush. And here's what the little package looks like. Isn't that just so adorable? Look at this. That is just so stinking cute. Look at the blush. And then here it is swatched. I swirled them all together. So you can see it swatched on my hand. It's just a very light pink color. I have been really loving this this week. I think it works really well on my cheeks. I think it has a pretty good lasting power. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, like the 12 hour blushes or anything like that, but I would say it would last a good work day. So if you're trying to find a blush that's gonna last a good long work day, this works. It works really well and then I love the packaging to it. I think the packaging has a lot to do with why I love it this week, to be honest with you. I just think it's super adorable. I mean, that's sitting on your little vanity. It's just so cute by itself. But the blush is really, really good too. I like how it has the different shades of pink throughout it. So you can, if you would like to kind of focus more on one side, then you can. Or if you want to swirl all together, then you can. Completely up to you. It's customizable. I really do love this. I think it works really well. And it's Too Faced. So Too Faced, Too Faced products are one of my favorite product lines. So love, love. The next item and last item, which I do have a bonus again, but it's because it's a sample size. So I can't really say that I've tried the full size to it. So that's why I want to throw it in and just talk a little bit about it, the sample size of it. So the last item is something I'm not sure you can even purchase anymore, but I know they have other ones that you could purchase. It is the Stila and the Light Palette. If you guys have this palette and you haven't pulled it out in a while, go dig it out. I took this with me and on our little trip, I took this and I took the Marc Jacobs. And I really was gonna focus more on the Marc Jacobs, but I ended up using this one of the days and I love it. I love my Marc Jacobs too, don't get me wrong. I think that's amazing. But I was so scared I was gonna drop that thing because it's such an expensive palette that I'm like, I really hate carrying this around in our hotel. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it and then, you know, that's broke. This one here is really, really good. All the colors are pigmented. It's got Kitten, which is a very famous color for uh, steel, and Kitten looks like that on my finger and swatched it looks like this. It's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. I think if you like Stila products and you already have this palette, go pull it out. If you like Stila products and you want something similar, I would go check out their other palettes that they have available. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called the In the Light. No, that is the In the Light. But it's the metal ones. They came out with some metal ones that like there was one that's a rose gold. I'm not sure if I'm editing Tiffany will remember and she'll put it here. So good job editing Tiffany. But there is Stila Kitten. I mean, do you see why everybody loves Stila Kitten? It's just gorgeous. That would make a gorgeous highlight on your face or on your eyes. You can use it wherever you want to. I mean, I would use it all over my body if I could. Just saying. I mean, look at that on my hand now. Look how shiny my hand looks. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so as for the bonus item... So the bonus item, like I said, is a sample size, and it is a little sample I picked up from Sephora. It's the Josie Moran Vibrancy uh, Foundation, and I have the shade Adventurous. This foundation is full coverage. I don't know if anybody has talked about this thing, how full coverage it is, but it is completely full coverage. If you have dry skin like I do, your skin's going to love this because you put it on, and it just works so, so well. Let's see if I can, I'll give you guys a little touch test of it touch test whatever the lady at Sephora she hooked me up I mean I told her I really was interested in trying this but do you see how creamy this is I mean look at that and it's full coverage look at that it's just gorgeous so she hooked me up she gave me my bottle was like completely full of foundation so I've been able to wear this for three days out of this week and I love it it's pretty long wearing I wouldn't say it's all day wear 
because I did notice that I had some of my acne scarring peek through down the bottom here but I don't know if that's because I happened to sit at my desk and do this so that could have been why maybe it just transferred off but I just think this is a really great foundation and I will be purchasing a full size I think it's awesome I'm not sure if I'm going to stay with the shade adventurous because I think this is more of a summer shade for me because I still do have a little bit of a tan from my vacation so I might wait and get it later on when I know that my shade range is kind of settled for the winter so I really do enjoy this if you like a very humectant very moisturizing foundation very full coverage you need to check it out because I think you would love it also so anyway, that wraps up our Friday Top 5 Top five Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what are some products you've been loving this week. And also let me know about the Q&A if you would like for me to do a Q&A because I would definitely be interested in doing that for you all. I love talking with you guys. So and that would be a great way for me to answer a bunch of questions and kind of be animated about it. Because I feel like when I respond to you guys, I feel like it's kind of like emotionless it's not that I'm not emotionless it's like when you're typing something I don't feel like you can put a whole lot of emotion behind it and I really like talking to you guys so I think if I can be more animated and talk to you guys here and answer your questions I just think it'd be a lot more fun so let me know if you would like to see that and if you would just let just let me know and then I will do a little quick video and let you guys know that you could put the questions below that that type of video or we could actually just do it here if you want to do the q a and we can do all the questions here we'll leave them below this actually that's the best idea if you would like for me to do a q a leave me your questions below and just put q a to beside of it so that i know that it's supposed to be answered in the q a and we will answer those questions here soon for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later